Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the lower front grille on this uh, 2003 Ford Focus. Um, this grille often gets wiped out by rocks or running onto a curb or something like that. Uh, the only tool you'll need is an 13 millimeter um, wrench or a deep socket and ratchet would work as well. Okay, you're going to want to get your fog lights out, reach in behind, and there's a little lever to flip here. Okay, and then the light should come out like that. Same thing over here, reach in behind. You'll, feel, you'll see a little lever. Put that lever and pull the fog light out. And now on each one, there's just a little clip underneath. Hold it your thumb and disconnect the fog light. Same thing over here. Okay, from the back side where you just took each fog light out, okay, you can see here the back of the fog light connector, there's a speed nut, it's 13 millimeter, and you remove this on each side. Okay, now there's three clips. Okay, use a small screwdriver and kind of prying up on the top here and then pulling back. Take these clips off. Okay, and now your grill should kind of come back and off. As well as in the top, it kind of unclips. So pull this a couple tabs. Let's unclip here. out and you can see on this car these little things are already actually broken that just happens actually over time with wear and tear. Okay, reinstalling. Um, what should happen is if your uh, cover is in good shape, put it up in, guide the pins right back into the hole, and I put the each side in, clip it in. And then this should all just kind of clip in, but since my bumper cover is in a little bit of rough shape, I'm going to put it in, push it up, and then pull my grill back, try and get it in place. Okay, from the back side, I'll do my best to kind of get the grill underneath here, and then put these clips on to hold it in place. Now reinstall these speed nuts, you know, put them on, and as you're tightening them, hold the grill and push the nut on as you tighten it up. Now repeat for the other side. Okay, now push your hallway harnesses back through.
reconnect. What you want to do is take this clip, okay, make sure it's kind of out like this. Push the clip through first. Clip goes through, then push the light in, wrap the clip around, and walk it on. And I'm just going to check back here, make sure my harness is on nice and tight. Okay, again, push the clip through, put it all in. When the lights back in, reach underneath and plug in the harness. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888 844 3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.